Say hi, Sabrina. Oh. <laughs> Operation Gut the Bus. Today's the day. Uh, let's see. Got the engine running good. Got the leaks taken care of. Finally, have some good weather. We're going to start ripping out the walls and the floor. Okay, so this is as far as I got yesterday. Um, I'm using a drill to get the rivets out, and that's working pretty good, but it's a slow process. And ripping out these rubber floors is turning out to be a challenge, as well as trying to get these metal strips out. Um, I have a drill bit for it, but uh, it seems like most of them are stripped. So the plan is to get the rubber out, the um, plywood out, and then just crowbar the metal parts out. So my only plan is to rip out these sides um, and then up along here where the electrical wiring is and to leave the roof intact. And let's see, I'm gonna get those speakers out there and cover that up. And what I'd like to do is uh, cut around like one inch around here because there's a lot of room behind there and insulate it and make some shelving. And yeah, uh, like I said, this isn't going to be a full timer's bus, it's going to be my weekender bus, so I'm not overly concerned with um, insulating the ceiling because the uh, ideal situation is to put some solar panels and a deck up there, so that should provide a little bit of shade. And yeah, so my goal today is hopefully to at least get the rubber stripping out. Wish me luck. Bye. Can't go. First piece of sand floor coming out. Woo! Look at that. So far, so good. No rust. Super clean. Love it. We got most of the rubber off, and we just got this one strip of rubber. And it turns out this little thing right here was the cover for where the gas um, inlet is for your gas pump. So I'm going to keep that little piece on and see if I can't wiggle this stuff out around it. But yeah, whew. here we go. Making progress. Yes, day two. So much more work to do now that it would just stop raining. Bye. I ordered this uh, seal here to put around the doors um, and I'll show you where it's leaking. So the strip is missing some sections here all the way around and so I suspect the leak is coming in from this section up here because it drips down to here, pulls up down here, pulls up down here and as you can see there's still a little bit of rainwater that hasn't completely dried up down here yet and that's where it puddles up and this is the area where I want to put my twin size bed so you know I don't want my comforter and everything else that's on my bed to get all wet and then the other thing is I thought well maybe I'll just cheat and move my bed back a little bit but then you know, I'm going to have to deal with the floor and the back of the bus eventually getting muddy and then having to rip everything out and repair it so I figure I might as well do it right the first time take care of all the leaks before I start building, building up the bus um, I started getting the walls taken out 
This right here is where the stop sign is. So I'm gonna just connect all these wires, pull the stop sign off, and then take the rest of the walls out so I can insulate the walls. Um, decided not to do the ceiling because I'm not full time yet, like I mentioned before, and the air conditioning units are up there. I don't wanna mess with those because they work really well. And um, my daughter helped me get a lot of this flooring ripped up and we got part of the subfloor or the plywood out from this area here. This metal stuff here is hard to take out, so I'm trying to figure out how to do it. But um, I saw that Home Depot rents um, a tool that helps you pull up these floors, which I think might be a little bit easier than these crowbars and taking all day to do it. I might just rent one one day for a couple of hours and just get this stuff ripped out and um because my goal is to have it done by may or june so i can start taking trips this summer and you know i only have weekends because i have a full-time job so um i only have the weekends and if it's raining then that kind of puts that on hold as well so today's project is to redo the seals on the door and see if that stops the leak before the next rain comes in and it was actually supposed to rain this weekend and it's still forecast to have thunderstorms and rain so um, I'm going to try to get this done quickly and before the rain comes in and then it will be a good test to see if the seal is working. wait for it to rain again this weekend and hopefully it works and then rip out the rest of this floor and start putting in the subfloor. Can't wait. Whew. A little bit more of the floor out now that the door is done. And this one piece here is kind of a challenge. Um, all I have is a couple of crowbars and a mallet. So, since it's such a big piece here, it's a little bit much for one person to do, so I may have to wait till next weekend when my daughter gets back so that we could do this piece together. But, yeah, got quite a bit done today. Ripped out this whole side right here. Ripped out this whole little tiny strip right in here, all the way back to there. And I got this big piece lifted up all the way to about right here. But it's one whole piece and um, I have like no upper arm strength and I'm a upper arm weakling so I'm surprised I got that much of it done on my own. But um, I could feel my my back starting to hurt, so I'm going to stop before I hurt myself. And um, I'm kind of happy how this strip came out. It's like super sealed now. I did forget about this lock piece here, though. I didn't cut that out, so I had to cut this out when I was trying to close the door. I couldn't, so I cut a little section out right here, and uh, it fit nice and tightly. 
But now I'm thinking I want to redo this side because there's like little, can you see right here, little air pockets in here? It's like really old. So I might buy some more and redo this side. I don't like the way that it was cut here so that air and water could come in. So um, the stuff that I bought curves really nice so that there's no cracks. It's sealed all the way around like super tight. It's almost, almost hard to close this door because this little cushion thing here is like nice and thick. So I got to really use some muscle to close that door. But that just means like there's like nothing coming in right here. But um, hopefully that stops the rainwater from coming in. And yeah, I think I'm going to order some more and redo this side too. And I think that's it for today. I've got some stuff to do and before it gets dark. So, yeah, got a little bit more done. Almost half the floor is out. And then, if anybody has any suggestions on how to get the last bit here out um, and the glue scraped up, I don't know if you guys did that or if you just kind of sealed over it. But that's just, that's just dirt. There's like no rust. I'm really happy about that. And then once I get the floors up, then I can take the sides out because they're buried under the, under the wood here. The little side of the wall bends and then connected under the, under the floor here. So I couldn't take the walls off, which is what I was starting to do last weekend on this side while my daughter was doing the floors, but I can't get this piece out because it's stuck underneath the wood. So I have to get the subfloors out before I can take the walls out. And then um, I'll be a happy camper because I could actually start building the schoolie instead of doing demolition. So I'm really happy and excited. Um, so if anybody out there is kind of discouraged and afraid of doing this, just keep in mind I'm like 5'1", and uh, let's just say I'm mature. I'm, an, I'm not a 20-year-old anymore, and I have minimal tools, and I'm still managing to make this work, although I do have a small bus, so. Um, and I'm going to leave the electrical and plumbing to my contractor friend because I don't want to risk bad wiring and having a fire, and or bad plumbing and having a flood in my bus after I do all this work. So, leaving the stuff that really needs to be done by a professional or somebody that knows what they're doing up to the professionals. So, so that's it for today. And I'm excited. I'm starting to uh, get excited about what this will look like when I'm done and going on trips. So, yay me!